What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, we are once again back on the road to glory. A few things to discuss today. Uh, first things first um, is the possibility of um, some streams it might be happening next week, or depends when you're watching this. Hopefully, this should, this should go up on Sunday. But um, possibly Monday, maybe Tuesday, depends when I can really get it all kind of set up and, and actually going. I didn't want to just, you know, start streaming like this. It just seems a bit, seems a bit, um, bit basic. So I wanted to get some, some proper stuff and make it look a bit professional and all that kind of stuff. So um, that might be coming next week. I don't know. Can't promise anything. I don't know how it's going to really work just yet. But uh, yeah, could, could be, could definitely be on the card. So if you are interested in that. Obviously, do let me know in the comment section below if you'd be interested in, in watching some streams. Um, you know, it probably would be FIFA. I, I don't know, we might might not do just FIFA, even though this is a FIFA channel. But, uh, you know, it, it can really be anything you want it to be. So, um, you know, do let me know in the comment section below if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, the second thing is... I can't remember. Um, but we are working towards the Rainer or... Rain, Rainier, I don't know how you pronounce it. We are working towards the 87. Currently got the 85. Um, it's just a bit of a task, really. Just a bit of a task. Um, you know, you've got to play a lot of games, a lot of them in the friendlies mode. And I was considering doing like a video on it, but ultimately it's really boring, especially the, the first stage of it. When you actually get the 85, it's a bit, you know, you require some wins. So it, you actually have to play the games, but up until the 85 point... Um, you um yeah you really don't and it's a lot of just like you score they score and you kind of just sit there and wait for the game to end so it's really very pointless um and again the card itself is just a bit it's a bit lackluster i mean it's good don't get me wrong it, it's it's still a good card for what it is like the 85 isn't bad the 87 is is okay it's not much of an upgrade but it is uh it is quite a nice card it's just it's a bit it's a bit low it's like Every season, we all know every season is going to be pretty much the same, but you can always pretty much guarantee the players that you get at level 30 and, and level 15 now are all going to be somewhat under the power curve because they're free cards. Um, EA aren't going to give you a free 93 rated Rainer because you won't buy packs then. You'll have a really good end game player. Um, you know, you, you won't need to buy FIFA points to buy packs or that kind of stuff to actually, you know, spend money. So they're going to give you a lackluster player. So you'll possibly do him, but then you'll you'll think, OK, I need someone better. So you'd want to try and pack one of the better paid for cards. It's a really bad system. I know. Um, but it's a business model, isn't it? I suppose it's just a bit fucked, really. It's just a bit fucked. And that, that's the only reason, really. I mean, that's why we've never seen a really good, like, high tier or what you'd really call high tier end game objectives player. Like look at all the previous ones like um Gonzalo Gueds, like he was terrible. Even at the time he came out it was pretty bad. It, there was you know Jean Jean Felix was better than him. Um you could probably play Gold Jesus Navas and he'd be better than him. Um Sink Graven was a good one, but ultimately still wasn't that amazing. Um wasn't that amazing. He he is one of the better ones I think. Sink Graven was one of the better objective player cards um but like you look at these and they're just like okay yeah they they might have been quite good at the time but very quickly within a week they got you know taken over by somebody else like robin was cheap and uh, i mean arguably the same if not better than this guy um even though he is still very good so it's just crazy it's just crazy but there's my little rant of objective players it's just i don't know you can you can see it though that that's exactly why they won't give us um, a really good you know ninety plus one because why would you want to go get the Ansu Fati or anybody else like that you wouldn't because you've got like a 92, 91 rated Rainer who's equal if not just as good as anybody you can you can buy for so anyway it is what it is it is what it is we aren't gonna we aren't gonna dwell on it anymore because it will become this whole two hour long rant video it's just it's just crazy. You could rant about why the fact they haven't done, uh, you know, milestones for about three months. It, like, when did Silver Sensations come out? Yeah, exactly. Haven't done one since. And uh, I don't know why. I really don't. It It's baffling. It really is baffling. But either way, I really do like the Rainer card because 
as you can see, he is kind of the missing piece to our puzzle to complete this team of getting it on everybody on 10 chemistry. Now, arguably, everybody was on 10 chemistry besides um, uh, uh, Witzel. So everybody but him was on 10 chemistry. Um, and, you know, it wasn't it wasn't like it really made much difference. But now we've got the Rainer. He kind of makes... He just makes everything work. He's a strong link to uh, Kaka. And he obviously gets a strong link to Witzel. Um, and then obviously links to other icons as well. But then we can also play Maradona. Get Messi on 10 chemistry as well. It's just... It's just crazy. But obviously this one needs to go. You need to go. Um, and then we can put in the 85... Hopefully I've got a uh, striker centre forward. I don't really want to buy one, but uh, yeah. So, oh god. Where's Rainer? There we are. And as you can see, if we can... Can we even bring up his stats? We can. So you can kind of see the difference in the 85 to the 82. Obviously the 85 is going to be better because he's higher rated. Um, it's got three more physical. It's got two more defending. It's got two more dribbling. It's got one more passing. Um three more shooting and two more pace so it's actually quite a nice healthy upgrade which is very good to see um let's have a quick look at it so he's got four star four star high medium six foot one six foot one he's got 90 agility 80 balance 80 reactions 86 composure with 90 91 acceleration 87 sprint speed he is just a bit of a beast he is a bit of a beast he's not like you know god tier um beast level but, uh, hold on. I have no idea what's going on. I have literally no idea. Why is it showing I've got 285s? That's really odd. You know, I realise I need 11 players in my squad. Anyway, um, see if I've got a striker to send the forward card. I don't. It's always ideal. Um, brilliant. Well, they're going to be 5,000 coins, so I'll take it. I'll take it. 3.1k for a uh, striker send forward isn't bad. I actually thought they were a lot more than that, but I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, yeah, good day. Good day. Arsenal winning as well against Leeds. Always things you love to see. Obviously, 1-0 at the moment, um, which guaranteed won't, won't last too long, but here's hoping Arsenal just park the bus and see out the 1-0 victory. Probably actually probably will happen knowing Arsenal. Anyway, um, so there we go. There is how the team's gonna look. This is obviously I wanted the um American Rainer from Dortmund, obviously a lot higher rated and probably a lot better than this one. Um that's kind of the player I wanted in the team, not just because of the American links, but because obviously he'd link to Witzel, he'd have the same kind of presence as this Brazilian Rainer. Um, but he's like 1.5 million coins, so not gonna happen. He is just as good. The uh, kind of B-Tech Rainer, but also called Rainer. Hell, there we go. Arsenal 2-0 against Leeds. Things you, you never thought I'd say, to be honest. You know, cheering on a victory against um, Leeds United. I mean, there's not to say they're a bad team, to be honest. Not a bad team at all. Just like this team is not very, not bad at all. Mbappe, Neymar, Rashford. It's got the new Curtis Jones. Good team, obviously. Nick Pope and um, Joe Gomez, as per every single team. Every single team. To Maradona, who's going to get there and take the shot. Gets blocked. I mean, there was no way that was going to go in, to be fair. Oh, yo, Messi. Okay, not the pass I intended. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Just a cheeky little pass to Messi. Yo, bangs in the goal to make it 1-1. You love to see it. Hey, yo, let's go. 3-0 to Arsenal. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the fuck is happening today. Bellerin getting a goal. Things you do love to see. Um, Wow. I genuinely thought we were going to lose that game. Looks pretty uh, clear cut. They're actually just going to win it. Mental. Oh, so pissed off i swear i can't wait to get a console um and then not have these issues anymore it's just crazy just crazy there's not even to say we would have won the game but i feel like we could have <laughs> we could have i mean that guy was just it was just it was just a giant twat anyway 
Like, you love to skill move, like, you know. Go and marry your, uh, your fake shots, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's the one down, one big downside to playing FIFA on, on the PC is, um, not that, you know, you can find a fucking game, but, um, yeah, notifications, anything, anything that pops up on your computer at all will, um, change your focus of your game, and it's just, it's so frustrating, so frustrating, but it is what it is, and I don't get it, I don't get it. Rainer, there we go, gets the first goal, let's go, big boy Rainer, because in the back of the net, um, yeah, they might have a guest, but uh, I've played co-op a little bit, and um, I can never really say it's harder than just playing by yourself, so, unless they've got a really good connection, then, um, you know, it's not always, it's not always easier playing with a second, second man, no, it's just so, it's so difficult, man, yep, nice. Yep, nice. Yep, yep. Ah, fuck. Mental. And, well, there we go. Mental. People just sitting back, just waiting for their opportunity to attack. You know, not even really trying to press you. Fucking hate this game sometimes. Actually, all the time I hate this game. Maradona! <laughs> Who is this? Is, is it Nick Pope in goal? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, to be fair. I mean, look at this. This is the quality, isn't it? Like, <clears throat> Davies can't even get a fucking header anywhere near on target. Yeah, it's three. I, 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 I just don't know what to do. Please, Maradona. Please. Oh, my God. Thank you. Holy shit. It's too little too late. That's the problem. It's too little too late. I mean, I, can't, I just can't believe those opportunities I've had. Two shots just haven't gone in. I just don't understand. I really don't. Uh, he was offside anyway, but he still didn't... He still can't put it in the back of the fucking net. Nope. I'm done with this game. I'm done with it. I can't be bothered. Can't be fucking bothered. Uh, actually seething. I'm so tilted. Just after two games, man. This is the problem with FIFA. Is that... It gets to you. And maybe not everyone's the same. Maybe I'm just easily, quite easily annoyed. I don't know. But, like, after after two games, it's just not very fun. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This guy's got a good team. He's got a good team, but, oh, shit. It's actually a very nice team, in retrospect. It's a very nice team. It's very... It's somewhat unique, actually. You don't often see a lot of those players. I know a lot of them are quite new, but you don't see them in uh, in many people's teams. Cool. All right, fine, whatever. Whatever, I can't deal with it. Whatever. I'm going to try again. I'm going to do the last game today. I can't be bothered. I really can't. I, I, I don't know. It, it's just so infuriating, this game. All the time. All the time. And like I said in the last episode, you know, it's not even down to losing all the time that makes it infuriating. Even when you're winning, it can still be a shit show. And, um, like, I don't know. It's just so, it's just so poor. It's just so poor. To, to see the way FIFA's come over the years, like from FIFA 14, um, 15, even so, being an absolute blast to play. I don't know, the, the casual fun aspect of FIFA just seems to be dead. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my tilted aspect, but still, it just seems that way. Go on, Maradona. Let's see it. There we go. Finally gets a goal. Maradona. Jesus, it's taken four games to to for Maradona to put the ball in the back of the net. It's, uh, insanity. Insanity. Pogba. Let's go. Two goals. Back in the game. Well, second goal, actually, but... Yeah, the, the, I'm sorry, this guy is just, like, drop back defensive as soon as, you know, as soon as the ball comes his way. It's not even like, you know, his men are just falling back. He's literally dropped back. Um, and it's just insane. Can't do it. I literally can't. I can't do it. Can't fucking do it.
All right, well, cool. That's that done. I, I, I can't. I, I, if I had a gun, it would be in the mouth, and I, I can't, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue. It's just getting worse and worse because I'm just tilted. I'm just really tilted. I can't play, I can't play FIFA today. I don't know what it is. I, I've never seen anything quite as desperate as that, and it's so, it's so bad, and it's so sad to see. But it is what it is. Uh, I can't imagine anybody would have enjoyed this. I, I haven't enjoyed this video. So. If you have had any enjoyment from it, please do drop it a like. That would be very, very much appreciated. Obviously, um, if you want to see more of this content, then please do hit that subscribe button. That would be very, very much appreciated. If you want to pity sub me, then uh, please do. Uh, that will make me feel slightly better than than what I am currently. But, uh, yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. So, uh, either way, hopefully you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And, as always, we'll see you next time.